Hello everyone and good morning. It is uh, morning time Ed again. We are here today to discuss whatever the hell happened to Near Mint. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? It's ridiculous. I've been grading for a while, as you guys know. A couple years ago, there was a time where I'd be able to get cards off of Card Kingdom at Near Mint. I'd be able to send them for grading and, you know, I'd get back a 9 or a 9.5. It was an easy way to turn 50 bucks, well, 80 with grading, that's the old prices, into a couple hundred because of a good grade card. I remember there was a point that I spoke to the management at Abu Games and I said to them, hey, I'm willing to pay more than the near mint price by 10 to 15% if you guys go and look at your cards and you give me the best condition one that I asked for. You know, I'll ask for this card, that card, another card. Find the best condition of each one and send it to me. I'll pay 10 to 15% extra. That was good for a couple of times, but uh, then they started listing on their website cards as mint. So my buddy also was complaining about, actually Josh, he had gotten a few near mint cards that came back as light played, so he gave them the business. And yeah, this was the time that they changed how they grade things. So I don't know, it's, it's pretty disappointing what people are getting nowadays from Abu and Card Kingdom. Here's even a picture from one of my subscribers of near mint cards from Card, Card Kingdom. Now, I haven't bought cards, uh, loose cards in a hot minute, so I just found out about this from a subscriber that Card Kingdom is now sending their cards out in cardboard packages. That just doesn't sound like a good idea for protecting the cards. And, you know, not like they did it great in the first place anyway with those crucibles. Yeah, it's kind of a crazy situation. I don't know if you've ever tried to buy from a TCG player, but oh, talk about a crapshoot. You know, do you know, so you've seen my Urza's Destiny graded set. It was painful to find, you know, above an 8.5 of some of those foils by buying on TCG player. Buy it, get it, look at it, send it back. Buy it, get it, look at it, send it back for 15, 20 freaking copies. TCG player is the worst offender. They give you a little guide about what near mint is, but people always take it one step further and one step further. And mostly at this point, near mint is light play. Don't be afraid to send your cards back. Like seriously, don't be afraid to be like, F you, this isn't near mint. I don't want this trash, take it back. Just saying, you know, I've seen people keep cards just because they couldn't be bothered and that's, I know I've done it too and that's that's not the way to operate because you'll end up with cards that are just B grade compared to the rest. You don't want a bunch of low grade or beat up cards in your collection because every time you evaluate it, it's, it's going to throw your way off. And not only that, you know, somebody looking at your collection is going to be like, eh, these aren't great condition. Me, I would say that. <laughs> But also, when it comes to near mint, I think it has a lot to do with sellers trying to pass off stuff as light play, but then they don't want to accept stuff that's light play as near mint. It's such a BS way of operating. This is actually part of the reason why I only sell graded cards on eBay. I don't want to hear any effing complaints from anybody. I don't know if you guys have seen this foolishness lately, but you know, oh, it's near mint except it has a binder ding or the front is near mint the back is mp get out of here your card is mp you know the whole attitude about near mint has gotten ridiculous and just use your return policies at this point so that people start to realize and change what they call near mint 
because until we agree what near mint is, we're gonna be getting a lot of garbage for near mint. Anyway, this is Ed with Dual Brain MTG. It's been a pleasure. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do like and subscribe so that we can get to a thousand and open this bad boy. Otherwise, I'll have box breaks starting soon, so uh, check out my Patreon. You can see that below in the description, and um, yeah, you can get in on box breaks. So, catch you soon, guys. Take care.